Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Now, I am going to be showing you the best methods to farm lots and lots of gems. So first of all, you can get a ton of gems by completing the challenges. As you can see right here, I'm about to get 3k gems. So beautiful. Look at that. Wow, it's raining gems. Another thing is while you play the game, you can actually get these sort of gift bags and large gift bags. So just sort of spam open these and I believe they do give gems. Yep, as you can see, my gems are going up as I'm spamming these things. Wow, look at all the confetti. What the? This is crazy. And look, wow, I'm actually going up so many gems. Wow. You know what? Let's just spam them all. Why not? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, we went up actually loads there. Let's spam the large ones too. Boom. <laughs> Wow, I didn't expect it to give me that many gems. Look at all these rewards. What the? I Yeah, I, I've been saving those just to spam them all like that. Look at all this. This is crazy. What the? I've never had so many rewards at once. Now, another thing to notice in the spawn area, you can actually claim social rewards, which is completely free. All you have to do is verify that you follow them on Twitter. But if you don't have Twitter, don't panic. You can actually just use mine. So just put at view with two W's, which is my Twitter, by the way. Make sure to follow me. But yeah, you can just put my Twitter in there. No problem. Another thing too to get some free gems is you can join the group, the big games group. I mean, you might as well. It's completely free and hey, you get some free stuff. Now, I hate to mention it because of the free to play plays, but obviously the VIP area is pretty OP and we will be getting back to the farm aspect later on. But there is a VIP chest you can claim which will give you quite a lot of gems as well. I'm so sorry for you to play players, but I had to mention it. In the area number three, the castle, you can actually claim some free diamonds right here. Look at that, beautiful. I just got 300, absolutely free. And you can do this every half an hour, so make sure you uh, make sure you do that. While you're in this area, the free diamonds, you can actually go through this castle, which you need with a key, I think, once you rebirth. And you can spin this wheel, and you, I think you've got a chance of getting some free diamonds. So yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do it. Come on, give me some diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, or gems. Gems, diamonds. I don't even know which one to call them. Which, by the way, yeah, gems and diamonds are the exact same thing, by the way. So don't get confused if I keep switching between diamonds and gems. Another way is actually this crystal chest. Now, I've never actually done this so i've got a few keys come over to it and uh see if you have a crystal key and i do so, oh loads of rewards i got loads of rewards but no actual gems so that's all right now as you run through the map there are loads of obbies and things that you can do and you actually get quite a ton of diamonds from these this is the most common item that you can get so majority of the time you will get quite a lot of gems slash diamonds here is the minefield as well this is the area 11 and you can get some more diamonds here's the jungle obby now this one is at 18 teleporter now don't quote me on this but i believe you get diamonds slash gems from the daycare so make sure you use that if you need gems. Here is another obby to get some free gems. And this is a teleporter 23 at Atlantis. Now you can actually get a decent amount of gems from fishing as well. So definitely make sure you capitalize on that. And this is at area 27 at the private cavern. And of course, don't forget about the dig site. You can get quite a few gems here too. And this is at area 30. There's also the pyramid obby, which is at area 31. And there's actually a second free diamonds station at area 32. So make sure you claim that one when you claim the other. Chest Rush, which is at area 45. So yeah, hopefully me showing you all that stuff helps you out. Now we're going to kind of move on to the farming aspect. So I do just want to quickly say, obviously you're going to have a massive advantage if you're farming at the VIP area, because this actually only spawns gems. So if you're AFK in here farming, you're going to, overall, you're going to farm a lot more gems. But if you don't have VIP, you can still farm at area 50 at the fire dojo. Let me just head over there now. And you can still AFK here. And I've actually tested it. You do still farm a decent amount of gems here, to be honest. I think I AFK'd overnight and I got like over 400k or something. It was pretty cool. So like I said, if you're free to play, AFK farm diamonds here. But obviously I have VIP, so I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm going to go to the spawn area and I'm going to farm in the diamond mine. Now, when farming, there is quite a lot of stuff you can do to increase the amount of diamonds that you actually get. So first of all, we are going to start with the enchantment books. Now, as you can see, I've actually already done it. I'll take these off for now just to show you. You can actually, there's a book called Diamonds and it increases the number of diamonds you earn. Which, by the way, if you've got a ton of these basic books, you can upgrade your enchantment book to a, to a higher level. And the way to upgrade your diamond books or any enchanted book is go to area 16. And I'm actually going to do it right now. I'm going to upgrade. So Diamonds 2 book. Let's spin that round and I'm going to upgrade that to diamonds free there we go so there we go it's giving us my books and then i'm actually going to make these diamond free books 
box into diamond four box. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. It's given us the legendary box. So of course, if you're only farming diamonds, then I recommend that you put on the diamond box. And one good thing to notice is you can actually stack them. So I've just put four legendary diamond books on, which actually increases my diamonds up to 30%. So that's pretty awesome. One other thing too, very quickly, is I recommend putting on a magnet book because this way you can actually collect all the stuff around you. So make sure you've got that on too when you're AFK. So once you've done the books, I actually recommend that you click on some of these oranges because these oranges actually increase your diamond boosts by 1% which is pretty cool. So definitely spam a few of those things. So there we go. Now, another thing to mention is, of course, there is also diamond potions. Now, just like the enchanted books, you can upgrade these and you can upgrade your potions at the area 13. And here it is. So yeah, you can literally take your basic potions and just turn them into better ones. Make sure you do this because this will definitely help you out. There we go. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to turn these potion twos into threes. There we go. Good stuff. And you know what? I'm going to turn these threes into fours. Look at that. Wow. Look, actually, look how cool they look. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, just before you start farming, make sure you activate your boost. So I'm just going to, I'm actually not going to use this one right now, but you should if you're going to AFK for a while. I'm just going to use this one because I'm not going to be here for too long. This is just for an example. So I'll put on that level three diamond boost. And one other thing you should activate is there are things called diamond flags, which increase your diamonds by two times. So definitely make sure you're activating these bad boys. Right, so now I've done all that, I'm actually just going to AFK here for the next four minutes and 30 seconds and see how many diamonds I can actually farm. Right, so yeah, that's done. And as you can see, I farmed like 8,500 in like, it's literally been like five minutes. So this is pretty OP way to farm gems. Now, like I say, it's only been five minutes. So you can imagine if you do this for hours and hours, then uh, you're going to be rich. You're going to be rich, rich in the gems if you do this for a few hours, for sure. So definitely make sure you try this. Right, so sometime later, well, actually quite a lot of time later, a few hours and... Uh, Place your bets in the comments. How much do you think it's gone up to? Place your bets right now, people. I'm about to turn around and reveal how much I've farmed. Okay, three, two, one, now. Boom. I mean, if you guessed 284,000, then, then uh, well, fair play, actually. Fair, fair play if you, but I doubt anyone actually guessed that number correctly. But, I mean, that's pretty nuts, right? Like, I mean, this is just proof. It, this is just proof. I mean, this works. 284,000 diamonds that I've, I've farmed here. And it's been like two or three hours i don't know exactly how long it's been but yeah only a few hours and i farmed that much so that's not bad now to end this off we're gonna go off with a bang and we're gonna open a crystal key i think i'm gonna open one like every video i think i'm gonna make that like a tradition all right come on give me did wait did it work no go you need a crystal oh i don't even have a crystal key oh i lied if i did oh no but i can create one apparently so let me create a crystal key there we go oh i can oh i didn't realize you had to craft them okay so i've actually got quite a few so i'm right, gonna open this bad boy Come on, give me some ink. Give me like, I don't know, the rarest item or a huge. If huge is even possible, give me a huge. Okay, we've got a diamonds book and some potions. I guess that's not too bad. If you have made it this far, comment the color red so I can know in the comments who's made it. I'll hearty comment and reply to it. And yeah, bye-bye.